Hi guys, been working on Windows 11. Everything is ready to teach and to learn. Back on Linux, yes. So it's the same PC, right? It's the same machine, it's the same hardware. And if you're wondering what hardware it is, what better than do a, a control, an Inksy minus B for example, a Super T first. So make this bigger. There it is, that's the code, bigger. Bigger, 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 bigger. Where's bigger? Bigger, bigger. Bigger is not there. Aha, that's bigger. <laughs> Control Shift Plus, that was the clue. Keyboard. Shortcut. To make it clear what hardware I have. So this is exactly the same PC. I have a tray. I pop out my SSD from Windows 11. Poof, it goes on top. The other SSD, ISO Builder, goes in there. Et voila, done. We're using the same hardware, 8 core Intel core and NVIDIA here, the RTX 260. Running NVIDIA. The NVIDIA DKMS. I think we'll go to NVIDIA DKMS by default next time around in January. So that's um, one of the changes we'll do. Control Z. So there it is. That's all we have. NVIDIA DKMS and whatever kernel you have it will work now topic of this video so just just an intro from video to video been all day on Windows 11 pop out in a tray put SSD on top of the machine the desktop pop in another one voila we're back at work on ISO builder I just made a video about Windows 11 virtual box and dusk and dusk is high maintenance i mean he's working all the time developing all the time but of course a package as as, as ours is not working all the time on on dusk right we have so much to do so Arclinux dusk is the package that we have it's coming from the developer and what he has we have at a certain point in time right so when you start developing at that particular moment you grab the code and then it stays the code now i told in the video that it's that that's also the fun and the strength of dwm which is basically dusk at dusk is a, is a fork from dwm if it works it will keep on working maybe for years i don't know but long right it is so stable the dwm that we're using in alci.online a website alci.online arch Linux and Calamaris combined has that. Haven't done anything, it still works, right? So that's the power, I think, of DWM. For example, already that one. Now, this Dusk thing, we could have a look, right? So I'm actually explaining, Beckaby, how do you maintain it? If Eric is not there, how do you? create your own dusk how do you keep it up to date and one of the things I suggest you do is get this URL by in my documents I've got all kinds of things in here right mouse click all from other people git clone and a bit for me right oops git clone and then Control shift V which is gone. Oh my God, I have to get it back again. So, backup desk, code, click, and then control V, control shift V. Okay, so all the code to develop desk is here. I can actually run this thing and it will work, but it's his configuration. We're living in an Arco Linux environment. We want Control Alt T. We want Super T. We want Control Alt F V G. Control Alt U. It means something. It opens Pavo Control. Control Alt M is going to open the settings on XFC and so on and so on and so on and so on. But this is the source. So what I'll do yeah what i'll do i'll stop telegram and i'll stop discord and then 
I'm gonna do a super F5, again, one of the keyboard shortcuts, directory comparison. What's different between Dusk and between the one from Arconlix, right? So we have an Arconlix Dusk here and we compare both of them. It's like compare. Now, as you see, it's gonna be difficult, right? It's not that particular folder that we need to compare. It's deeper, it's deeper. Control H is deeper, it's there. That makes more sense. So these are the things that he has changed, that we have changed. We have a PyCon toggle, we have sexy hotkey demon there. The wallpaper is there, PyCon, we have our own PyCon. And here is his PyCon. So we've, we've done different things. But there are more technical things, things I don't know shit about, right? This, this whatever this is, it's about Scratchpad that I get, and it's linked and swap, etc., etc. All I do, or will do, is move A to B, so from left to right, and then hope that everything works. I update as he updates, but I won't overwrite my own settings. That's something I will not do. Let's give you an example. Here, config dev h. This is the file that we made our own. Right? We tell him we want to have five. So the original one, I have to think, the original one is the left one and ours is the right one. So a border of five pixels is a little bit thick. So we said we take a border of two. And here seems to be a new name, attach a site and attach site. Now, if this is a typo, then it's okay, right? This may be just this thing. But if it's complete change of name, then it will come over okay, in all these files. And we need to be on our guard. And that's all okay. Indicator none, indicator top right pin. Will it change something to our system, this line? Is it a, a something that we want to change? This is just gibberish. I can just get it in because it's just text at this point in time still, right? Systray, no alpha. Disables the user transparency for the history. That's cool, right? Choices. Choices are always cool. Thing is, what I would do, I would like to keep everything as is. Why? To test it out, it's maybe sometimes better to make a package called dev or development or testing or something like that, because then we see what happened. It's happening to our system. Here we have the Arconx logout. It's typically from us, right? It's never gonna be in the standard dusk. And in here are choices. I don't want GIMP to go to workspace five. I don't want Firefox only to go to workspace eight. Why would I? put them in a prison and say, don't get out of eight, don't get out of five. I want them to be free. Take anything you like, right? So things, those things, those settings are all choices. And we've put a lot of work in all those choices. So updating all these elements is done with a fresh mind. <laughs> That's for sure. And uh, always keep track of the things we've changed. So that's what I'm going to do for a later period. But maybe that's something you'd like to do in between releases from Arcanlinks. That's something you can keep up with. All right. Cheers.